Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about template variables and dynamic content. Now template variables in Django are exactly the same as template variables in Flask. They work in the same way and what do I mean by that? So this web page in front of us home.html this is not a web page this is this is a web page but it is not an actual html document it is a template for an html document and whenever we're working with django or flask we have these templates and they have some placeholders or template variables now in flask we call them jinja variables but in django we are basically going to call them template variables their syntax is identical so I could just say p message and I'm going to open up a, two pairs of curly braces and I'm going to pass in message. Now this message is a template variable. It's a placeholder uh, that will be filled in by Django when the template is rendered. We can supply the value for this variable in the view method by adding a dictionary as an extra argument. Now we have already seen this in our previous false stack application and there it was called a Jinja variable. The way we added value for this variable was through a keyword argument or through keyword arguments. But as far as Django is concerned, you need to provide a dictionary data structure. So I'm just going to save this. Let's move on to our views.py. Keep in mind that all these changes are being done within the website app. So in here, I'm going to add another argument, and that is going to be a dictionary. First, what is the name of our variable? It is message, and then that is going to be the key. What is the value? The value is going to be the value for our variable. So I'm not going to write any value. I'm just going to copy paste it right here. Transmitting from the view function. I'm going to save that, and I'm going to come to the browser, and I'm going to refresh the page. And there we go. So you can see, even though technically in our HTML file, we don't have anything, we just have this. So if I open this up with live server, what happens is we are going to get some mumbo jumbo that the user is not going to understand why. Because these variables, they are treated as pure text by Django. Any part of the uh, template which is not pure, which is not like this variable, Django is just going to return it as it is. It is only going to change the parts where there are placeholders and it is going to treat them as pure text. And you can see here we just have a paragraph that says transmitting from the view function. Now, um, the val these values for the template variables might come from a database, and this allows us to have dynamic HTML pages where the content of the page is not always the same, but changes with circumstances depending on who's logged in or uh, a form you filled in or a product you selected. Uh, that's why we call uh, the file home.html a Django template because it's not exactly an HTML file at all. It's a template for an HTML file. Only after Django fills in the placeholders with values provided from our view function do we have an actual uh, HTML to send to the browser. Now, you might ask, uh, can I use these template variables everywhere in my HTML? The answer is yes. You see, as far as, Gen as far as Django is concerned, this is just a text file with placeholders. It's just a text file with placeholders. Everything that's not a placeholder or some kind of special template syntax is left alone by Django and sent to the browser as it is. You can use template variables everywhere in this text, which we call template or HTML page. Django doesn't really care about it, and it is, um, and it is going. It is supposed to be HTML, and that just fills in the placeholders you give it. So that is what actually Django is going to do. So in conclusion, the files in the templates directory dynamically generate HTML pages based on the data that our view functions send to these templates. Django templates. Uh, same as with Flask templates, they have the ability to support conditionals and loops. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.